Hi guys, it's LBS Honey and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this super simple and adorable teensy LBS snow globe. So for this DIY, you're going to need the following items. Number one is a Glitzy Globes pack. Now, this is a three pack, and I got this at Woolworths for $5. It includes three snow globes, so you can make up to three LBS snow globes, which is really awesome. And it pretty much includes most of the items you'll need for this DIY. You're also going to need a Teensy LBS. I got this one for $3 at Woolworths, and they're available in little blind bags. And if you want to learn more about these Teensy LPS, there'll be a link in the top right corner to previous videos I've done on them. You'll also need some glue for this. I'm just using some super glue, so be careful if you do use super glue. I personally don't have any liquid glue besides super glue, but I'm sure a glue gun or anything like that will work just fine. Just be careful not to get this anywhere or you will get stuck to something. And the last thing you'll need is some scissors, and I'll show you what we're going to be using this and the glue for later on. And you will also need water for this DIY, so just be careful not to spill any water anywhere. So this is everything that was inside the Glitzy Globes packet. We have an instruction manual. Here we have the glitter in this little silver packet. And then here we have all the items we need for making the snow globes. So for this particular set, it is a three pack. So you get three different bases. We have an ice cream cone, a little gumball machine, and what I think is a little cake display. And we're gonna be using the cake display for this DIY. You also get three different bases to attach your little figurine onto. You also get three plastic domes for your snow globes, and don't worry, it can fit an LPS in it just fine. You also get three figures, which are originally meant to go inside the snow globes, but we're going to be using an LPS, so I don't need this cupcake right now, but there he is. And of course you get the main palette, and this is where we're going to be doing most of the DIY work. Alrighty, so I'm currently in my bathroom, so sorry about any echo you might hear, but this part is probably the most important part of the whole DIY, and if you're a bit unsure, I recommend you get some parental help just in case you're worried about messing something up or just cutting your finger off or something like that. But pretty much we're going to take our LPS and a base. And the first thing we're going to do actually is, as you can see, the LPS has a hole here. And we're going to stick our scissors inside and just twist a little bit. And this will ultimately make the hole in the LPS bigger so the bottom rubber part can fit inside. So here's a before and after of the size of the hole. You can also use a small X-Acto knife or a screwdriver if you want to get a better circle shape. Next up we're going to take the base of our snow globe and this part here is actually made of rubber so it's quite flexible and we're going to take our scissors and just cut off a tiny tiny piece of rubber. We don't want to cut off the whole thing because this is where our LPS is going to eventually go. So this is how tall your part should be once you're finished and as you can see the LPS fits quite nicely on top but it doesn't sit perfectly so we're going to super glue it down. Now please be very very careful with this next step, you don't want to get super glue everywhere and if you do get it on your hands please wash it off immediately. So we're just going to take our LPS here and just dab a tiny bit into the hole. So you can see it's in there and then we're going to place our base on it. So here we go and just like that and make sure you hold it together while it's drying because it is now setting and you want it to stick perfectly to the base. So here's our little kitten all stuck down. She looks awesome and the best thing about LBS is that you can move the head so if you want it facing a different way you can do that now. And yeah, she is not going anywhere, which is really awesome, and the plastic isn't lifting up or anything like that. So let's move on to the next step. Alrighty, for this next step, we're going to be taking our little tray and also the top of your globe. And you're just going to be placing it in the middle and filling it with water. So the little star shape has a 
engraved area around the edge in case you spill any water but for this I'm just going to be using a little sippy cup so I don't spill water everywhere but you can use a dropper or you can just use a cup as well because the water will fall into the space around the tray but I'm just going to be doing this just in case I spill any more water. yes you will be filling this to the top so pour as much water in there as you can you will lose some water later on when you're placing the pet inside but this is normal so make sure you fill it up to get as much more water as you can so next up we're going to open our little sachet here which has our glitter inside once you open it up it should look something like this the colors may differ depending on what set you bought but for me i have two white a blue and a red and today i'm just going to be using a white one so here's our little glitter ball here. It is meant to be no mess, but you will get a few pieces around. And you're just going to drop that straight into the snow globe. And what this will do, it will break up over a few minutes. So give it some time to fairly spread all the glitter around inside. Alrighty guys, I left it for about 4 or 5 minutes and I've come back now and I'm not sure how well you can see but the glitter's all broken up at the bottom so we can move on to the next step. So this is probably the messiest part of the whole DIY. You're going to be placing this inside the plastic globe part so quite a lot of water is going to spill over the sides but don't worry, this is meant to happen and this is why we filled it up right to the top so we can spare some water when it drops out so let's get on to that. So here she is inside a little snow globe. As you can see, there's two small air bubbles, but that's quite common with snow globes, so don't worry about that. And if it does really bother you, you can always take it apart again and refill it and try and get rid of the air bubbles. But to me, they're quite small, so they're not bothering me that much. So let's put it on the base. So for this one, I'm going to be using the cake base stand. So all you have to do is click it inside. It's fairly simple and it goes in pretty easily. And there we go, all attached. So there's a better look at the whole snow globe. I am super happy how this turned out. And of course, if you're not happy with the base, you can just easily swap them out for a different color. I personally think this one's my favorite, so I might move it into there later on. But yeah, overall it looks really awesome. And I just think it's a fun little DIY, especially if you get doubles of teensies and you don't really know what to do with them. It's an awesome way to display them. So let's give it a shake. So here we go guys, the moment we've all been waiting for, the shake. Woo! How awesome is that guys? Look at all those sparkles. So there we go guys, I hope you enjoyed this DIY and I really hope you guys give it a go because it is so cute and if you do, please tell me because I'd love to see them. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, like I said, if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!